all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying with us the headlines for today are Mohamed Kuruz is the best in we are bringing you more updates after the headlines also we will look at um, black stars player or former Black Stars, in fact, still Black Stars player, can play for the senior national team. The Ghana Black Stars finding himself in a highly rated team of the week. Um, after a fantastic performance over the weekend, we are going to bring you more details on that also in this particular video. The Ghana Under-17 will be taking on Benin today. Later today, 4 p.m. Ghana time, we'll be looking at that. Inak Williams wins award in the spanish la liga black star striker inak williams winning award and then also there are some other stories we are going to share with you in this particular video on this channel sports 7 gh when we come back do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying with us now where do we even start from? Let's start from six Ghanaian uh, boxers arrive in Bangkok ahead of final Olympic game qualifier. Now the Olympic Games will be coming on in Paris 2024 this year. Now Ghana Black Bombers or none of the boxers, okay, from Ghana has qualified to the Olympic Games. There is no boxer who has qualified to the Olympic Games. We had about two qualifiers, one in Senegal and then one in another country that we were looking forward to get some boxers qualifying but then we failed to qualify to the olympic games six ghanaian boxers have arrived in bangkok um to try their best and to try their luck to qualify for the olympic game six maybe if you get some three or four crap it wouldn't be bad at all so yes that's the good news over there don't forget that the ghana four by hundred meters relay team have already qualified for the olympic games and um, it's a very very good one so we want to get more boxers because the boxers they'll go to the olympic games and actually get us some medals so we are hoping for the best now ck akono former black stars um coach has been appointed the calf technical advisor for the youth players development the former black stars coach um charles kwablan akono has embarked on a new chapter in his illustrious career having been appointed as a technical consultant for youth players development by the CAF confederation of african football in this new role akono will continue his extensive knowledge and experience to nurturing the next generation of african football stars akono who notably guided ghana to qualify for the 2021 african cup of nations will commence his duties immediately by participating in the calf african schools football championship finals in zanzibar tanzania this pre prestigious tournament which showcases young talent from over 44 african countries involves more than 800,000 boys and girls under the age of 15 so yes um ck akono getting an appointment um uh, in in calf yes technical advisor um over there so yes congratulations to the former black stars um coach we wish him all the best in his new role we hope that he garners a lot of experience and comes back to help the city national team the ghana black stars and help ghana football in general ibrahim osman is a fantastic black stars player who plays for nordjylland fc in the danish league now he's doing very very well in his last five games for fc nordjylland he scored a goal versus AGF. He assisted versus Brown Bay. He scored a goal versus AGF. He assisted versus Silk Buck. He didn't do anything other goal as assist versus Brown Bay again. But then he scored a goal versus Midland. The forward has eight goal contributions, five goals, and three assists in his last ten games in all competitions. Very, very highly rated. And um, Black Stars Ghanaian forward 
who will play for Brighton and Hove Albion in the English Premier League next season. Doing very, very well for FC Nordjylland in the Danish League as we bring you all the updates. The best left back of the senior national team of Ghana is the best left back in Ghana. Makach Ramusa. Baba Rahman is the best Ghanaian left back now. There's no contender. Nobody can contend it. Nobody. <laughs> he has won the league in Greece. Yes, Baba Rahman, the best left back, winning the league in Greece. As I bring you all the updates in this particular video on this channel. So, congratulations to Baba Rahman. And uh, we hope that the next Blasters call up, you will come back and deliver for the senior national team. Masa, Obana, Wa, Mbobu, Waliya, Whilst you are doing well, you know, we, are, we are also praising you. You are the highest scoring um, left back in the Greece League. About six goals and some number of assists also for Baba Rahman. So when you come to the Blasters, you have to assist. You have to do very well. One going forward. And you have to defend very well too. You have to defend very well. So you are in your best form of your life in Greece. When you come to the Blasters, don't come and do any Yibia or Honom. Now, Muhammad Kudus is the best in terms of dribbles in the English Premier League, in the just ended English Premier League 2023 2024 season. Muhammad Kudus completed 124 take ons. Massa, easy, Kudus Muhammad, it's not easy to complete 110. Look at the number of dribblers in the English Premier League. Jeremy Doku, Phil Fodin, Cole Palmer, all these players. Oh, you know the key players in the English Premier League already. But Mohamed Kuruz, the fantastic Blasters player, fantastic Ghanaian player, the next Ballon d'Or winner in the coming years, the next calf, <laughs> oh my goodness, calf best player of the year. Massa, it's not easy at all. Mohamed Kuruz is the best dribbler in the English Premier League, 124 take-ons completed. <laughs> now, there is no African, no. the only African is Mohamed Salah. And the only African is Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Kudus and Salah. Pe. So you see that Kudus and Salah, no, the level is the same. Salah completed some number of um, um, big chances created. Um, and the rest, all right. Um, Haaland had a number of goals, a uh, highest number of goals. Goals plus assist was Kopama and the rest. So yes. Now, Inaki Williams, yes, he's won an award in uh, La Liga. The best African player in the La Liga. A lot of people are saying that what type of award is that? Because in the La Liga, no, there is no African player who can do better than Inaki Williams. That he can ah who who again? Who again in the La Liga? There were Chukweze and the rest, okay, in the La Liga, but then Chukweze left uh, Villarreal to AC Milan. So the champion is, is always going to be Inaki Williams, and indeed he he deserves it because he scored about 12 goals in the Spanish La Liga this season. And then doing very very well for himself that's what he had to say after the award was presented to him thank you very much for the acknowledgement it is an honor to represent all african players in la liga my roots in ghana are as deep as my love for bilbao and athletic club um, i hope to be in contention for this same award ne next season you win it again no worry. next season i'm going to win it again because it's not baba idrisu or anybody who's going to take it from me it's not my mind, it's not anybody, okay? Next season, Iraqi Williams are going to win it again. Don't worry at all. Now, let's talk to you about this one and then we leave. Black Stars player is doing very, very well in the Saudi Arabian League. And um, I came to tell you that he scored a goal over the weekend for his club side. And look, in the, in the team of, he's in the team of the week in the Saudi Arabian League. We already know the stars in the Saudi Arabian League. To find yourself in the team of the week alone is good. But then in the team of the week, you know, he was the highest rated player, Bernard Mensa, Jesus Christ. This player, we should call him for the blasters. Coach Otuado, we beg you. He's in the Saudi league, but still now, please. Let us see the player. And if you look at the position, he's up, he's he's just like the likes of Majid Asimero. He pushes up forward. Okay. Number 10 row Bisano. Okay. He's a creative mid for that. He he has scored 14 goals in the Saudi Arabian League this season. 14 goals with one assist. 14 goals, Bernard Mensa. He had 9.4 ratings. He scored just one goal, but he had 9.4 ratings. It tells you that during the game, he played excellently well for, for his club side. And he, he topped that performance with a goal. So, yes, uh, team of the week, Bernard Mensah having 9.1. Um, he has scored 14 goals with one assist in the Saudi Arabian Pro League. Thank you very much for staying with us for yet another fantastic video. Do all to subscribe to the channel. Like the video, hit the notification bell and select. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.